Do you use Hint No Lock to improve your query's performance? If answer is yes, you should watch this video. Hi there, this is Pinal Dave and welcome all of you to this another episode of SQL in the 60 second. Today we are going to talk about no lock and how it gives us dirty data. If you have seen similar demonstration before, I am going to do the same thing so you can stop this demonstration over here and watch my another videos. However, if you want to see how no lock produces dirty read, continue watching. On the screen, I have two sections. In the left section, I have table, data and a transaction and on the right side, I have simple select statement. Now I have already created table and inserted three rows in that table. Next we will check what this table contains. As I mentioned to you, table contains three rows. The price of the car is 99 where bird and bike cost each 100. Now I am going to begin a transaction. Transaction starts over here and right following that I am updating value of the car to 100. Following that we will be waiting 10 seconds and next we will be updating once again car's value to 99. Finally we will do a commit where we will end this transaction. Now let's execute this statement and at the same time on the right side we will be running this select statement. You can see that query on a right has to wait as long as query on a left has to execute. That means once the query on the left was completed, we got result on the right side. Now many people do not like this scenario and they just use the query hint no lock as described on the screen. Let's see how the no lock works. First, we will run the same transaction one more time and at the same time we will run our select statement on the right side. You can see right now our query returns three rows. We could see a row which contains car with a price of 100 but in reality the price of the car was never committed to 100 but we can still see that in this result. This is called dirty read and it is definitely not recommended if your database is running mission critical business. Let's run the same select statement one more time as our transaction is committed. You can see now it only display two rows. The data which we are seeing is committed data and accurate. I always suggest to all my clients that if they really care about performance, there are other ways to get the same performance. So well that's it for today. If you enjoyed what you see, I strongly suggest that you subscribe, like, comment and share this video. I'll see you soon in another episode of SQL in the 60 seconds. And now is the time to find how to unlock this lock.